There, I just invited him. Sweet. I don't know why it wasn't working with the little plus thing. Whatever. All right. So we have two Steves now. What's up? Two Steves. Two Steves, a Mark, oh. and me. All right, here we go. Protoss versus Protoss. I know nothing about... Other than it's 4-gate all day. Yeah. Or I think we may see 4-gate. Possibly another 4-gate. Yep. Followed by maybe a failed cannon rush. And then a 4-gate. Uh, don't forget about the DTs. Oh, that's true. Roll the dice with the DTs. Oh, yeah. All right, so for DTs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So in the bottom left corner, we have Ubar, uh, Masters, Protoss player, and in the oh, top right corner, we have Escaping Jail, who is another Masters Protoss playing on Shakuras. Probes are going to run into each other, and looks like they are going to scout the right base first. Oh, it looks like we have some proxy, double proxy gate. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh yeah, uh, unreal. Well, we knew that it was going to be interesting. <laughs> uh. I like how the pylon okay. is placed, so it actually, you know, it's protected. You can put the gates mm -hmm. down and not to worry too much. All right, so it's proxy gate versus proxy gate. Wow. Who can do it better? What do you think of EJ's placement versus um, Ubar's placement? Well, EJ's further away, so um, and you know what? EJ's actually got them rallied into the wrong base. Um, so I think I I really like Ubar. Um, if you look at the gateways, he's got them pointed up to go to the uh, northwest. Yeah. The empty base, so. Yep, where Ubar knows exactly where to go. So EJ has seen that now. He's fixed it. He's scouted with his probe. Um, oh, there we go. EJ's rally point changed on his gateways. Yeah, exactly. Uh, EJ is a little bit ahead on his zealots. He's got two working right now, whereas we're only using one of the gateways for uh, Ubar. I really don't know how this is going to play out. Just a base trade? I mean, that's all it can really be. See if he saves a probe somehow. And their chrono boost is pretty much exactly the same. Their units are almost on the time the same. Yep. EJ's got two in production, and right now Umbar instead is doing another pylon. Yeah, EJ's a little bit quicker with the zealots here. Um, going straight for the probe line for Ubar, and he's just going to retreat and just sacrifice his Nexus, but I don't really understand that, because he doesn't have enough money to make another one. <laughs> really weird. So I guess I all he's going to do is try to base race and not lose all his shit. <laughs> if he can get this pylon down, it might put things in his favor a little bit, but he's still behind on the Zell account. Um, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Oh, it looks like he might get this pylon though before these two zealots come out. Exactly, which is huge. Ooh, oh, and e EJ is doing the same thing back to the pylon, which is really weird. Ubar made another pylon, but he didn't make it within range of his gateways. Sure, good. Up so there. they're both supply block right now. Um, yeah, they both don't stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> they fight each other. He doesn't kill that last pylon, which I don't know why he wouldn't. Okay. And now it's just going to be a micro game. Um, EJ doesn't have enough money. It looks like a stalemate at this point, unless he cancel. Uh, he could cancel one of the zealots in his gateway and build. Oh, that would be smart. Oh. And now he's got the never pylon mind. going. Yeah, never mind. He spent his last hundred dollars on uh, a queued pylon. I didn't see that. So uh, he is going to get the two extra zealots, which is going to bring his count uh, up to six, which is one more than Ubar. But Ubar has two more probes, so it's really going to come down to micro here. Um, here we go. So 
it's a big clump. Wow, that good job pulling back. Art style stuff right there. And it looks like EJ's got it. Where does he? Big micro. Oh, oh shit. That's it. Oh. EJ wins. Decided by one zealot. That one extra zealot that EJ made. That's crazy. He's a difference maker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh -huh. Well, then. PvP is how it's done. And the, the sad thing is, uh, if Kupar would have wouldn't have lost that Cylon, actually, uh, you know what? He would have only gotten two extra results. That might have made the difference. I don't know. It's tough to say. I don't play the game uh, as a Protoss, so I really don't know how that pans out. But oh, you weren't invited, Dosi? Sorry, dude. Yeah. So okay. my bad. Oh shit! Tim Tebow needs a miracle. Thirty-five to seven. Goddamn. Yeah. So, Steve, do you think you could out cheese these guys? Or is that was uh, pretty good, actually. It kind of reminds me of the last tournament we had in April. <laughs> <laughs> you did two gate there, did you? Uh, three gate, I think for the finals. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I just remember, I don't think I saw the final, but I just remember everyone raging, so. Well, I was just about the same as this one. Yeah. Alright, so in the uh, 5 o'clock position, we have our red Protoss, Ubar, and in the 11 o'clock position, we have Escaping Jail. This is Antigua Shipyard, I believe. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know the map, I just don't know the names. Well, early scout from Ubar. Oh, it looks like another proxy from Ubar. EJ's got his uh, pylon in the base, and he is going to go with a proxy two gate halfway across the map. Now, the question, I guess, is how. I guess if he scouts it or not. We haven't seen any scouting at all from EJ. Probably see him drop a gateway before he does that. There it is. Okay. So his gateway is a little bit faster. And there's the two gates. I can't see this working for Rubar though. The rush distance is too far from the, the point yeah. of the gates. Exactly. I think EJ kind of figured this would happen again, so he's probably hoping, like right now when he walks by the Cell Nagi, he's probably just like, oh yeah, easy win. Big, big grin on his face. For sure. Comes down to whoever has gas and range unit. Yep. Oh, cancel the gas though. Oh, so he's going for the <laughs> second gateway. Yeah. Oh, no, he's oh. canceling I don't know what he's going for. Hmm. Indecision. Well, he canceled the gateway back gateway in the, the Yeah. And the, then we got double gas back here. Are we going to see DT from Uber? Oh, definitely. Looking like it. Uh, this Zealot not going to get out before this pylon dies. Or is it? Never mind. For some reason, I thought those were two of the same color probes. Apparently, I'm colorblind. <laughs> Alright, so Cybercore is up for EJ. Um, we see a Cybercore being built in Ubar's base. He cancelled one of his gases. So lots of indecision here. Uh, he's pr chronoing out probes back at home. Uh, Worker-wise, EJ's got the edge with two extra probes, three extra probes as I say that. And he's already got his warp gate started. So um, tech-wise, he's a fair ways ahead. He's probably about 20% down his warp gate and the, chrono or the uh, cyber just finished for Ubar. Sacrificing a <laughs> zealot, he just leaves because he huh. knows. So uh, I wonder if he checked the gas there to see how much gas had been mined. Okay, well we're down two games, so EJ just needs to win one more, and that's it. Oh, 
unless you can coordinate this time. <laughs> More foregate. Uh. <laughs> well, I want to see a game that goes on longer than five minutes. That'd be nice. Yeah. PvP, man. MLG Shatter Temple, so it's cross position. Technically not a map that we wanted to play, but it's fine. Don't really care. It's supposed to be ladder maps, but that's all right. Half is good enough for MLG. Yeah, exactly. So I like cross position. That's fine. Um, just kind of cuts any uh, scouting out of the equation. So in the one o'clock position, we have Escaping Jail, who's up two nothing, over the seven o'clock position, Protoss Ubar. So that's a really, really early scout, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's gonna um, be some mega proxy something. Yeah. All right, you gotta figure he's gonna hide it over by the rocks. Um, seems to be pretty standard. Either at the yeah, he's gonna do it at the gold. So. Um, Ubar are getting tricky as well, throwing his his pylon away. I don't know if that's just to make EJ think that he's going to get proxied. Um, I'd have to assume so. Yeah. So, imagine we're going to see uh, a gateway go down here from EJ. Uh -oh. Oh, another one. Or it's going down for Ubar. Oh, so we're going to see a cannon rush versus a two gate. Now, the question is, is he going to be able to s keep himself alive at home? <laughs> no gateway. Mm -hmm. Two coming. I don't like his odds. <laughs> nope. And apparently he forgot that we're playing MLG because he's scouting the wrong position. Oops. Unless this is some like really deep strategy that I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess it's, it's either going to end up in a stalemate or it'll come down to how mm. the ground well, positions uh, cannon, because if you can't get enough surface area on the cannon to actually kill it with uh, the probes and however many delts it gets out. Yeah, not seeing any sort of uh, pylon right in Ubar's mineral line, I really don't think he has much of a chance. He's committing too much in his base that he has nothing to stop the two gate here. And like he just scouted the ramp and saw there was nothing. Um, well, well, he's definitely losing his base for sure. Yeah. But whether or not EJ can actually clean up all of Ubar's cannons. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, here comes the first zealot. Cannon rush from two angles. I think I like this. I'm surprised he didn't make that cannon in a more forward position, though. Using the probe micro to kill the first zealot. Well, it doesn't actually have enough minerals for anything else. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be a problem for him. <laughs> I think he's, we're just going to see a GG from Ubar here. He's going to lose his Nexus. Likely lose the Forge. And it's yeah. tough to cannon rush with no money. So I think Yeah, there's it. nothing you can do to kill uh, EJ's gateways. So. Yep. I mean, huh. how much money does EJ have left? Though four hundred, so he can make. Yeah, I he, well, he can make a nexus. actually just remake nexus when he wins. Oh yeah, yeah. EJ's fine. He could just go build somewhere else in its game. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Well, that was a pretty shitty final. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens with PVP. It, it just sucks. Though. Yeah, exactly. At least it wasn't PVP. I'll give it that. <laughs> Although you would have gotten a land longer than five minutes. I don't, I don't know what to say. I try to play a normal game. game. <laughs> Play too, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty tough to cannon rush with no mining probes. <laughs> so, like, okay. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. The funny thing though is when you guys first two gated each other, you guys uh, like dropped everything at the same time, and I don't know, it was fine. Symmetrical two. Yeah, it's great. <laughs>
All right, so that concludes our tournament. Congratulations. That's most awesome finals ever. <laughs> Can I get a post-game interview with you? How do you feel <laughs> for your recent victory? I, I feel pretty, pretty cheery. Pretty cheery. I, yeah. I didn't, I actually wanted to play. I had like the whole build plan and everything for that few but I never got to do it. <laughs> Damn. We, picked, we had Chakras, which is like an amazing proxy game map. Yeah, then the second map, I was like, okay, there isn't like, you really can't cheese this map because it's more like a Yeah. <laughs> then he did it anyway. I scout across this from just a tech for the one time I've ever lost the cheese on that map, which somebody built the gate in the middle of the map. So I did that, and then I scouted it, and was like, oh, oh, I just built two gates, and then he canceled the other gate, and then when he saw that, I had my cybernetic score up and was already chrono boosting, he just left. Um, then the third game, uh, Shattered, another amazing proxy gate map. There are only two that are like really, really good. So I'm like, alright, I'm up two. He probably will try to play standard since he's down two. Let me try to cheese, because I don't like this map anyway. <laughs> so, and he tried to cannon rush me. Uh, I don't know what's up with people keep cheating on that file. 